In this one, we've got several problem players who intentionally break up the D&D group and break up friendships. We've got a little bit of a theme here. This is Taylor's Tavern Tales, and let's get into the RPG Reddit horror stories. So bad, it blew up a friendship. This was about a decade ago. We started playing a campaign of Traveler. It has been so long, I had to go up and look the name of the system. And we'd made characters and had a fun first session. The DM and five players, including me, four of whom were colleagues. And the fifth was a DM from a D&D campaign we were also playing at the time. I think it was session two or three when we found ourselves with a crashed alien spaceship with a ludicrous technology level. We figured we would learn to use it and sell it for a large fortune. But then the army showed up and it was quite clear the ship was meant as a story hook and not an actual thing we would get. So there was a bit of bickering between the players and the army outside. And three of us see the writing on the wall and come out peacefully. And then it all went to crap. The remaining two players decide to make that effing ship their Alamo, ready to defend it to the death. The DM clearly struggled and kept trying to persuade the players to surrender peacefully, but they would have none of it. This went on for three hours, with the DM trying desperately not to kill the other two players. By this point, the DM is exasperated, and the two other players and I are bored out of our skulls. So I finally say to the DM, just kill them already. This seemed to be the prod the DM needed. We're fragged with a grenade or something. All of this was pretty bad, but when one of the other players had the gall to say, you didn't even give us a chance. Even the DM's partner, who was playing, and I, who I thought to be congenitally incapable of feeling anger, got really mad. There was shouting and the two players were kicked out of the DM's house. We never spoke to the non-colleague player again, and not much to the colleague either. Those two players just sound dumb. I just don't understand how you have the audacity to waste three hours of everybody's time when you know for a fact that the DM is trying to move the story along, and especially when the majority of the party has decided to just go along with it. Like at that point, you just have to read the room and take one for the team, okay? Now, I also understand that the DM could have been more flexible in the story, but I do feel really bad for the DM because, yeah, the DM could have tried to make a workaround and just improv the rest of what was going to happen, but I understand that that can be really hard for people, especially when you don't have a clue how to get to the original plot. But in my opinion, I think the problem players were the two players who just wasted everyone's time for three hours because that's just so rude and inconsiderate. It's giving main character syndrome a little bit. It's giving just trying to derail the campaign for no reason other than to just be chaotic. Which, I mean, sure, go for that sometimes, but this is right out of the gate. And if the majority isn't into it, and it's taking hours, leave it alone. I mean, another thing the DM could have done is just, is just say, okay, you don't leave the ship. Let's continue the story with the three other players who are willing. That would have been funny, and it would have been a consequence to their actions. But hey, Hindsight is 2020. Let's move on to the next one. Player unsatisfied with the ending to a campaign decides to nuke a friendship over it. Hello Reddit, first time posting on this site. I just wanted to tell my story because of a player that left scars on my psyche, that it kind of shifted my desire to play D&D, specifically for a while. Characters of import, me, GM, Salisbury, former player one, Yuri Dice, problem player two. This takes place over my personal Discord playing D&D 5e, group that had two campaigns going on. First campaign fizzled out due to players getting busy with life. That started as a one shot, but evolved into a full campaign. We'd been playing for a year plus now, but we decided to take in some new players. My ex-girlfriend invited a friend she had from work, which was Salisbury. Salisbury played a wild magic kobold. The character was was played to be babyish for the majority of the game, but the player matured and evolved over the game, eventually becoming one of the key players in the story. After year two and a few story arcs down, a friend I had already known from Facebook decided to chat up the group, seeking refuge from their old D&D group, claiming the previous group had treated them poorly with targeting her character and fudging the enemies just to target her. This player was Yuri Dice. They played a Goliath Barbarian. The character was a cookie cutter barbarian with a backstory of basic tribute exile. We played for months and years, and the players were tasked to get unique magic items. But to fully awaken the weapons, the characters needed to become paragons of the character's virtue. I told the players to please tell me in private how their character would react 
and what their virtues are, so that I could craft a story, beats, and scenes that would relate to them, exemplifying their virtue. Most players obliged, except for Yuri Dice, who didn't give me anything to work with, and never communicated properly what her character wanted and their beliefs. So the story went on, and we reached the climax. I admit I'm not the best GM when running a story, and have a lot of pitfalls. All their characters awaken their weapons in some more grandiose style, but not Yuri Dice. Their awakening was sudden, cause they literally didn't give me anything to work with other than the theme of self-sacrifice. So I shoehorned her character to have a with great power comes great responsibility thing. I would later learn that this was the start of their resentment towards me. The story went on and the players took down the BBEG, an ancient white Draco Lich, with a mix of magical MacGuffin and some genuinely cool combat. I wanted to end the game with a simple, and they made it back to where it all began, and grab a pint and fade away. But the players pressured me to do epilogues for them. I did epilogues to the best of my knowledge for the player characters, for Yuri Dice and Salisbury. Salisbury originally wanted their character to die, but I later learned that they were pressured by Yuri Dice to change it. That the character reincarnates, but as a child. Yuri Dice claims that their character would take care of the reincarnated Salisbury. So I ran with it, not giving much detail, cause again, I was not talked to about their character. It left a bad taste in my mouth, so after we closed off for the night, I tried to tell the players I rushed the ending, and wanted them to figure out their own epilogues, cause I could not do their characters justice. It was all quiet for a while, then Yuri Dice made a scathing post on social media, claiming I was targeting them, and intentionally didn't give her character equal limelight, like I did for the others, when again they always played their character in a very reactionary way, and never communicated with me how they wanted their story to end, and they said me trying to change it post-ending that they would create their own epilogues was a lazy hand wave. A few weeks go by and I was suddenly blocked by Salisbury, later found out by my ex that Salisbury and Yuri Dice had an argument about how the story of the campaign ended, so they were presented with an ultimatum. It was either Yuri Dice or me. They chose Yuri Dice. And now treat me in the Discord like it didn't exist. Both the players are still in my Discord server, but I don't speak to them unless spoken to. And they treat me as a ghost, so I do the same. End of story. Would it be weird if I did my commentary from here? Eh, I'm gonna try it out. I mean, to be honest, these players just seem kind of immature. This feels just so juvenile to me. Like, anytime anyone gives an ultimatum, that's automatically a red flag for me. And she didn't even send you the character info that you asked for. So I don't see how OP's in the wrong here. However, I am getting this weird feeling that we're not getting the full story here. Like, I don't know if it's just because I'm tired, but I feel like we're missing something here. I mean, everyone has their biases, so probably that's the case. I don't have any meaningful insight, I really don't. This whole thing just feels weird. Like you were doing a campaign for two plus years and all of this was like bubbling under the surface. Like that's just unhealthy. I mean, my whole thing is communication. If this player had an issue with your DMing style, she should have just said something. And I mean, it's also on the DM too. I mean, you should probably try and follow up. But hey, I guess everyone has busy lives, so sometimes you don't have time to really dive into character stuff. But then if you don't have time and you don't actually send the DM any stuff about your character, then I don't know if it's the right reaction to write a scathing post about him on social media. That just seems so childish. Well, honestly, I don't have any more insight because I'm so... So tired. And I think it's time for me to go to bed. So, I think I'm gonna leave it here for now. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give me a like and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. I know this one was a very chill episode. I'm so sorry if that's not what you're into. I'll try to be a little bit more upbeat for the next one, I promise. And if you wanna support me and the channel, think about becoming a channel member or sign up for my Patreon. And speaking of channel members, thank you so, so much, Lord Kalistos. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. I'm so grateful to have you here and all the support. And if you would like to become a channel member or a patron, check out the links in my description, as well as all my other social medias down there. I post some bonus funny things on TikTok and Instagram. Well, that's all for now. I will see you in the next one.